Hello learners, welcome to this program, Education Online. I am teacher Akena Patrick Omoy, a teacher of physics. Today we are going to look at defects of vision under the main topic, lenses and optical systems. So dear learners, when we talk about defects of vision, we mean problems associated with vision or problems associated with our ability to see an object. So defects of vision refers to defects of vision refers to the problems the problems associated with the ability with the ability to see an object. Defects of vision refers to the problems associated with the ability to see an object. Sometimes we find a condition where an individual is able to see a near object clearly than a far object. Or there is also a situation where a far object can be seen clearly than a near object. So now we have two types of defects. Types of defects. Types of defects. Now dear learners, what are the type of defects that we have? We have two types of defects. One is called short sightedness short sightedness short sightedness and another name is called myopia so this is the first type of eye defects that we have or the defects of vision then the second defect is called the long sightedness long sightedness long sightedness and it can also be called hypermetropia 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 so these are the two types of defects that is problems associated with vision or our ability to see an object one is called the short sightedness and it can also be called myopia. Then the second type of defect is long sightedness. And long sightedness can also be called hypermetropia. So now, dear learners, let's go and look at these two types of defects one by one. And we are beginning with short sightedness. One short sightedness. Short sightedness. short sightedness so now dear learners what do we un understand by the term short sightedness so short sightedness refers to a condition where a person is able to see a near object clearly but unable to see a far object a condition a condition where a person is able is able to see a near object a near object clearly clearly but unable to see a far object so dear learners short sightedness refers to a condition where a person is able to see a near object clearly but unable to see a far object in actual sense an object 
which is placed in front of the human eye should form an image on the retina. But we shall find that in this situation, the image of a far object will not be formed on the retina because the eyeball is too long. So what we find in this case is that the image, the image of a far object is is formed in front of the retina in front of the retina which means if the image is formed in front of the retina meaning the image has not been formed on the screen we said the screen of the eye is called the retina for us to view an object or to see that this is a human being, this is a tree, the image of the object must be formed on the retina. Which means if the image of a far object is formed in front of the retina, which means no information will be sent to the brain. And we said information is sent to the brain through the optic nerve. If no information has been sent to the brain, we shall not understand that this is a human being, this is a tree. Then, also, what happens to the image of a near object? So, we said the image, the image of a near object, object is formed, is formed on the retina, on the retina. Which means if the image of a near object is formed on the retina, which means the optic nerve is going to send that information to the brain that you have seen a tree, you have seen a table. So now, dear learners, let's see how this image formation in the human eye happens. One is we are going to start with a distant object. A distant object. Now, when a distant object is placed in, in front of the human eye or is in front of the human eye, meaning the image, the rays from the object is going to pass through the, the lens found in the eye. And when it passes through, it is going to be refracted. But when it is refracted, for the, the eyeball being too long, this image will not be formed on the retina. So now... If this is the human eye, this is the human eye, and in the eye we have a type of lens called the convex lens. So now this is a convex lens found in the human eye. Now when rays from a distant object, meaning objects which are very far away from the human eye. So this is a ray from a distant object. Then if we also have another ray still from that distant object. So now these two rays are falling on this lens found in the human eye. It means these rays are entering the human eye. Now for, and for the objects being so far away from the human eye, so this image will not be able to form on the retina. It will form in front of the retina. So these rays will converge to a point which is in front of the retina. So this is how the rays will converge after they come into encounter with the lens. So now this is where the image is formed. I is the image. Then these are rays from distant object. Rays from distant object. Distant object. Meaning rays from a far object. So dear learners, we can see in this case that the image of a far object is formed in front of the retina. If it is formed in front of the retina, we are not able to see that object. The observer will not notice the object. Then we also say that the image of a near object, that is an object which is close to the human eye, will be formed on the retina. 
So dear learners, let us also see how the image of an object close to the human eye will be formed on the retina. The retina is the screen of the human eye. And when an image is formed on the screen, we say that image is a real image. Now let's have a near object. A near object. Now, dear learners, let us also see how the image from a near object can be formed in the human eye. So, if this is the human eye, this is the human eye. Then, the type of lens found in the eye is the convex lens. So, now, dear learners, when a ray from a near object that is an object which is very close to the human eye if the object is at this point if this is the object close to the human eye so now this rays from this object will fall on the human eye or it will enter the eye so this is a ray from that object in that direction then another ray still from the object can also enter the eye from another end so now these are the two rays from this object O. Object. So now what happens in this case is the object being close to the human eye, these rays are going to be refracted and they are going to be refracted and it will meet at a certain point which is the retina. And the retina is the screen of the human eye. So this ray will be refracted to the retina also from that side will be refracted on this retina so the ray is moving in this direction so this is where the image is formed so this is rays from a near object rays from a near object a near object so, dear learners, this helps us in the definition of short-sightedness. We say short-sightedness is a condition where a person is able to see a near object clearly but unable to see a far object. We see a near object clearly because once the rays are refracted from the lens of the eye, the image will be formed on the retina. Once it is formed on the retina, the information is going to be sent to the brain through the optic nerve that we have seen this object but when the object is at a distance meaning an object very far away so these rays when they come into encounter with the lens the rays are going to converge to a point in front of the retina meaning it is not going to be formed on the screen and when it is not formed on the screen we shall not see the object so a short-sighted person sees a near object clearly than a far object that's why in classroom some people prefer to sit in front others prefer to sit behind there are others who sit in front because once they sit behind they will not see what is written on the board so this is the first uh, type of defect now dear learners how do we correct this defect how do we correct short-sightedness so let's look at the correction Correction. This condition can be corrected. The condition where a unable, where a person is unable to see far objects but can only see near objects can be corrected. Now, how do we correct this? Uh, this defect. One, we are going to use a a concave lens. In the correction of this defect, we are going to use a concave lens. Dear learners, concave lens can also be called the diverging, diverging lens. Diverging lens. Now we are going to use a concave lens of appropriate focal length. So now, when 
a concave lens is placed in front of the human eye. I know you, you may be asking how can the concave lens be placed in front of the human eye. These concave lens are made in form of eyeglasses. The eyeglasses that you put on to correct the short sightedness must be made of a concave lens. So now, when the concave lens is placed in front of the eye, we shall find that rays from a far object will first be refracted at the concave lens. And when it is refracted, the rays will appear to be coming from a point close to the human eye, such that its image should be formed on the retina. I said we are going to use a concave lens of appropriate copper of appropriate uh, focal lens. Appropriate focal lens. Such that such that the lens diverges the lens diverges the ray making it to appear to be coming to be coming from a point from a point close to the eye so dear learners in the correction of short sightedness we are going to use a concave lens or a diverging lens of appropriate focal lens such that the lens diverges the ray making it to appear to be coming from a certain point close to the human eye so dear learners this is how we are going to place the concave lens in front of the human eye and i said the concave lens can be made in form of the eye glass or the spectacle the, the spectacle that a, a short-sighted person should put on is the one that is made of a concave lens. So dear learners, if this is a human eye, this is a human eye, then the lens found in the human eye is a convex lens. A convex lens. So dear learners, what we are going to do in the correction, we are going to place a concave lens in front of the human eye. And this concave lens will be in form of the eye glass. So this is concave lens. Concave lens. So now dear learners, when a ray from a far object falls on this lens, so now let's consider rays from a distant object that is uh, a far object let's consider rays from a distant object so this is one of the rays from a far object falling on the concave lens and the concave lens is the eyeglass that you put on then another ray also still from the far object still falls on that same concave lens so dear learners this is what we mean by the the lens this is the eyeglass so this is the one you put on so this eyeglass must be made of a lens of this type which is called the concave lens so now dear learners when these rays fall on this lens we know a diverging lens always diverges the ray. Means it makes the ray to spread in another direction. So this ray is going to spread in that direction. It's going to be refracted in that direction. Then also this ray will also be refracted in this direction. So dear learners, this is what happened to the rays when it enters into your eye through the eyeglass that you put on so now these rays when they diverge 
the meet the concave the convex lens this convex lens is going to converge again the rays meaning it will force the rays to come and meet on the retina these rays will converge to the retina so this is where the image is formed but now we shall see that when these rays are diverged from the lens these rays will appear to be coming from a certain point like this ray appears to be coming from a certain point also this ray also appears to be coming from that point we shall see that this this two rays which have been refracted appears to be coming from a point close to the human eye and we said if the object is close to the human eye the image will be formed on the retina so these rays will appear to be coming from a certain point close to the human eye so this is where the we call it now a visual object it is not a real object but it appears like the object is placed at this point and what makes it to appear like this is because of refraction from the concave lens so dear learners this is how we can correct short sightedness so when you put on a eye glass which is made of a concave lens you are able to see a far object also clearly without any problem so this is how we correct short sightedness then, dear learners, let us also look at the second type of defect. That is defect number two, long-sightedness. 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 And we said long-sightedness is also called hypermetropia. So now, dear learners, what do we understand by the term short long-sightedness? So this is a condition where a person is able to see far objects clearly than a near object. A person is able to see far objects clearly than near objects. So this is a condition, condition where a person is able to see far objects clearly but unable to see a near object. So we find that there are situations where a person can see an object which is very far clearly but when the object is close to the person is not able to see why is it so it is because a ray from a distant object will form an image on the retina but when an object is placed close to the human eye the rays will be refracted and it will meet at a point behind the retina it will meet at the, behind, at the point behind the retina. And once it is behind the retina, the image, will, the information will not be sent to the brain since no image shall have been formed on the screen. So what happens is that rays from a distant object, a distant object, that is a far object, is formed. So rays from a distant object converge and converge and forms an image and forms an image on the retina. On the retina. So when an image is formed on the retina, we are able to uh, the the, Im the information will be sent to the brain so we are able to say this is uh, a table this is a tree 
Then what happened to the rays from uh, an object which is near the human eye? So we say rays, rays from an object, an object close to the eye, close to the eye, converge, converge at a point behind the retina, behind the retina, because in this case the eyeball is too short, that's why the ray will be formed at a point behind the retina. So now dear learners, when rays from a distant object, meaning rays from a far object, converge and form an image on the retina, so we are able to say we have seen an object, but if the rays from an object close to the retina close to the eye is not formed on the retina which means we shall have not seen that object we only see an object if the image is formed on the retina if the image is not formed on the retina we are not able to see any object so now dear learners let us see how the image will be formed in the human eye that is for a person suffering from a condition known as uh, long sightedness or hypermetropia so now if we look at the human eye, so this is the human eye. Now let's start with uh, object at a far distance. Object at a far distance, or we can say a distant object. So this is the human eye. This is the human eye. Then the type of lens found in the human eye is the convex lens. So now dear learners, if rays from far object falls on this lens that is found in the human eye. So these are two rays from distant object. So now for, for the object being far away from the eye, so these two rays are going to converge to a point on, on the retina. They will converge to a point on the retina. Now these are rays from far object. Rays from far object. So now these rays will converge to a point on the retina because the eyeball in this case is too short. Then what if we have an object which is close to the human eye? That is a nearby object. A nearby object. That is an object which is close to the human eye. And we say rays from an object close to the eye converge at a point behind the retina. So this is the human eye. The human eye. Then we have the convex lens. So now dear learners, if we have a point object, that is an object which is close to the human eye. So rays from the object will fall on the lens. These are rays from the object. They will fall on the lens. So now rays from object close to the human eye will form an image behind the retina. So these rays will be refracted and the image will not be formed on the retina, but rather it will be formed uh, behind the retina. And once it is formed behind the retina, means it has not been formed, it has not been formed on the screen and when it has not been formed on the screen we shall not see we shall not notice that we have seen any object so this is the image then this is a nearby object a nearby object so dear learners this is what happens with a long sighted person a nearby object forms an image behind the retina meaning it is not formed on the screen and we are not able to recognize that this is this object so dear learners 
these are the two types of defects that we have in the human eye so up to this point i would like to say thank you for attending the lesson i am teacher akena patrick komoni bye bye for now